Okay. Here we have our submission for group 12, close smart application, basic close, um, close web, uh, close store. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. We can log in with a customer account. Go ahead and try to log in here. Customer Joe, Joe123. Text that as a customer logging in. Brings us to the customer view. We have here several product categories. Let's select a product category. Go ahead and um, when we click on uh, a product here, it shows us the product view. We've got red shirt, $12.99. Um, we can go ahead and select a size, add it to cart. We can view the cart here. Um, cart. Um, we can either view cart or we can continue shopping. We're going to go back. We're going to add some more products in there. We're going to go ahead and add a small gray pan. New shopping. We're going to go ahead and add shorts, some blue shorts. Go ahead and add that in there. Um, we'll select size medium. All right. Continue shopping. Uh, let's go to our cart now. So we have here our three products we added. Um, we can modify the quantity of those products. Um, Set it so you limit it to 10. Um, that was just an arbitrary decision. Um, you can see here as we modify the quantity, it changes the total price, um, the total for the cart. Um, we can go ahead and remove a product from the list there. So we just want our three red shirts and our two blue shorts. Um, we'll go ahead and check out here. Pulls our, pro our customer information in there. Go ahead and put in our billing information, our card number. Twelve. Um, let's see here. Let's put in some information there. We're going to go ahead and confirm our purchase of sixty-four ninety-five. That was done. Um, if we go back here to cart. Um, see our shopping cart is empty go back to home you know do another purchase if we wanted to add something else to the cart um, but let's go ahead and log out now go in and just for show purposes we'll just try to log in with a random account um, no one and none try to log in here detects that that person is not found um, brings us back into the login screen. Let's go ahead and log in with an account that is there. Um, this one's an admin account. And log in. Detects that it's an admin account. Brings us to the seller dashboard. Um, from here, um, well, it has here the total cost, total sales, total revenue. These values are updated as each transaction is completed. Um, this information is updated. It's constantly being updated. Um, as transactions are going through, we come in here and we can update our inventory. We can select see our different products in our inventory, our pants, shirts. Let's go back to our shorts here. Um, we have here, say we want to delete a product, we go ahead and delete it there. Go ahead and add a product back in if we wanted to. Go ahead and add that back in there. Gray shorts, price $10.00. Cost five dollars, quantity ten, medium quantity ten, large quantity ten. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's make the medium quantity five. File name, since our image is already in our image folder, we just put our file name in there. Gray shirt, uh, gray shorts, uh, JPEG, name of the file there. Category is shorts, best shorts ever for the description and save that in there so now we have here a quantity everything that we added in there is all there um, we can go ahead and also view our transactions here we have that last transaction that we did for 64.95 it was total of five products the cost total for the products of the car was 25.75 our revenue total was 39.20 for that transaction. We can go back here. Um, let's go ahead and log out now. Um, can we do this? Yeah, we showed. Oh, let's go ahead and modify a product. 
Let's uh, let's change the category. Small quantity of red shorts to five. Also, we're going to save that in there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and log out. Let's go log back in as customer. Let's make sure our changes um, show. Um, we're going to log in. We're going to red shirt. Um, best red shirt ever. Um, our shorts that we had back in there, gray shorts, price $10. Uh, not sure why it's showing only one zero right now. It seems to be having an issue. Uh, that's because I only put one zero on the end. So let's go ahead here and let's go ahead and log back out. We're going to go ahead and log back in as our admin. Um, top one, two, three. We're going to go to update our shorts. We're going to modify that because it's not coming out right. Uh, we're going to 1099 and we're going to 10599. Save that. Um, so that looks better. Um, 599, 1099, quantity of medium 5. We'll go ahead and log back out and make sure that's showing right. Go to log in for our account, Joe. Joe123. Go ahead and log in. Go to our shorts category. Okay, that's looking better. Just a little bit of a formatting issue there. Best shorts ever. And at a medium product there. Go view cart. Remember, we set our, our amount for mediums to five. So we got five there. But um, if we had to try to add six, um, it says not enough in stock. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and delete it. Now we have no items in cart. We go home add more products, so on and so forth. Thank you.